Shalom, Shalom, Israel. Let's call Blood Mom. Let's see what Blood Mom doing. Uh, 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 uh. Mommy, I got robbed. Seven shots and you didn't use it, man. Use it. Hello? Dumbass boy. Yeah, we just robbed your son. We got Blood Low. Tell Blood come get his shit back. The mob got it. Fuck you talking about. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> You ain't nigga. Got blood. Shit, oh, what are you talking about, nigga? Got blood gun. Got blood gun. Got blood back. Making all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got blood chocolate. Why is your man selling chocolate? Shallow arm, shallow arm. Definitely want to give our praises and our glory and our honor to Yahweh. Bye, Shim Yahushai. Bye, Shim Rakakadash. Yahweh is the most high God, and Yahweh Shai is who the world is because Jesus Christ. Want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone who rule up the spirit, teaching his word and believing his word to the best of his ability. Lord will the most high increase the knowledge and understanding and that they had the spirit to endure. Mighty shall the world to the open left scattered four corners of the earth and out of the congregation that's teaching his word and believing his word to the best of their ability. Lord will the most high increase them that they actually endure to them. Mighty Shalom. Shalom to the wives and the city citizens out there that's playing their role. Being believers of this word. Lord will the most high increase you to strive to be a loving and sound wife and virtuous. The Lord will the most high mercy on other brothers and sisters. That's not a faith. This lesson is really a sponsor. You know, every day we have a conversation about work. We talk about children. We talk about how society, our people. I come across this video right here, man. I screen recorded it just so I could do a video later on. So the title of this video, Low Willing, it might be, We Got Some Monstrous Children in Our Nation. We're going to keep it quick, smooth, and straight to the point. We're going to rewatch this video one more time. And let's get to it. On the dead humble. Blood gun, got blood back. Making all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got blood chocolate. Why is your man selling chocolate? Hold on, I think I might call blood mom. How you gang banging chocolate? On the dead humble. Blood got a droid. Paul Rue. Let's call blood mom. Let's see what blood mom doing. Uh, 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 uh. uh. Mommy, I got robbed. Seven shots and you didn't use it, man. Use it. Dumbass boy. Yeah, we just robbed your son. We got blood low. Tell blood come get his shit back. The mob got it. Fuck you talking about. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> you ain't we got blood. So, to say real quick, they robbed a 15 year old selling chocolate for whatever, maybe a school event. You know what I'm saying? And they think they doing something. Then they call in the mob thinking they really doing something. You know, these kids don't 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 have nothing better to do. But when you look at it, we can tell that our nation is 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 man. What's going on? You know what I'm saying? What what's going to the scriptures, man? This is second Ezra, the fifth chapter, verse eight. And it reads, There shall be a confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be offset. Out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and mistress women shall bring forth monsters. Right? And if we used to look at our history, we went through 14 different captivities, different personalities in different times. And we had monstrous children. Look at Rehoboam. Look at uh, Ahaz or Ahab. Look at Manasseh. Look at uh, Zedekiah, right? Look at the, the Pharisees and Sadducees, the ones that went against Yahweh Shai or wanted him crucified. Look at Judas, right? Monsters, right? But let's see why. It all goes with us not uh, educating the youth, right? The ones that come after us. This is uh, Judges chapter 2, verse 10. It says, and also... All that generation were gathered unto their fathers, 
And there arose another generation after them, which knew not Yahweh nor yet the works which he had done for Israel. Right? These kids don't understand the real understanding of Yahweh because our parents, us ourselves, haven't uh, took the initiative. Right? Even more, this is why young men need their father. Right? This is a. Uh, I'm gonna make it even more plain for you. We're gonna go to the GNT. Right, saying uh, bringing up children. Right, this is what it says. So, like, it. a father who loves his son will whoop him often, so that he can be proud of him later. These kids need a damn whooping. If a son is disciplined, he will be of some use, and if his father can boast of uh, uh, his father can boast of him to his friends, right? These kids is not disciplined, right? And they're not of no use, right? These is kids that like like um, crack kids would have put them in a damn dumpster. They would have sold these kids off, <laughs> right? Verse three it says, anyone who gives good guidance to his son cannot only take pride in him among his friends. But he can make his enemies jealous, right? When we edit, uh, edify our kid, right? When you read the KJV, it says, when uh, a man teach his son, it grieves the enemy. The enemy don't want no righteous kid in his society. See, Esau loves those wicked kids in this video. Esau, Esau loves these kids. These are these the way to be. We just, man, look at us. We got Glocks. You know what I'm saying? We stole a kid uh, chocolate, right? We monsters. It's because we have we had no guidance. Verse 4 and 5. It says, while the father is alive, the sight of his son makes him happy. And when he dies, he has no regret. He is not really dead because his son is like him. So whatever these kids, they are a reflection of their father. Their father is no is no good. He probably a piece of shit, right? The apple don't fall too far from the tree. Now some of us can be dedicated and it's true, and our kids still fall away. But it's something that these kids see that you did, and they they cling to it. Still reflection, right? This is why we have to watch. And it's another video with women. Uh, uh, playing pow tow around their daughters instead of these kids hearing ABC one two three learning they want to hear pow tow I want to go to pow tow and don't even know then you got some teachers promoting it yeah pow tow yeah get it girl and if you got a problem with it pull up ski like what the f excuse my language what the fuck right. In my time in the world, okay, it was cool, it was different. You know what I'm saying? But now when you start getting enlightened, this is not a way we sh our teenagers should be. Talking about robbing a freaking 15-year-old. They deserve to get smacked right in the boat. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got blood chocolate. Why is your man selling chocolate? Oh, Hold on, I think I might call blood mom. How you gang bang I think I'm chocolate? I'm the dead hungry. Blood got a droid. Paul Rue. Let's call blood. Mom, let's see what blood mom doing. Uh, uh, uh. They, they call the mom, they have no respect, and they even uh cussing the mom out. Right? We can keep on going to wait. Here we go. Verse 8. This is what this is what we need. It says, in an untamed horse is going to be stubborn. In an undisciplined son, it's no different. These dumb young kids is, is freaking horses. They're fucking horses, man. However you feel, or like this is playing in our face, man. A chief king, any nigga talk about killing, ride, ride, snatch, man. Bullying, all this other extra. These are monsters. They're untamed horses. Let alone we have women out here doing the same damn thing too. Verse 9, it says, if you pamper your child and play with him, he will be a disappointment and a source of grief. Right? You had the young, the, the uh, uh, these men 
having a birthday party for their sons, it giving them guns to like play guns to play with. So now these kids want to go to want to uh, grow up and tote a damn gun. Live by the sword, die by the sword. You can live by the sword and never use that mother sucker. You're going to die by it because you live by it. If you ain't got no gun, you ain't no man. It's some fathers teaching kids this, man. Right? Let's go to... Uh... Let's go to... Isaiah 3-12. It says, as for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. Oh, my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy path. Right? Children is our oppressors. See how they talk to the above? The little boys could have uh, gave that mom a whole heart attack. Your damn son. Now when they if they hear about that gun. If he tell him, Mom, I got, uh, he put a gun at me. She gonna have a damn heart attack. When I was young, I had a gun pointed at me. The man put it in my damn mouth when I was a little ass kid. Going to West her. It's not I was young as hell. He told me not to snitch on him. I said I was I wouldn't. What what can I do? And he's like, man, open your mouth. Show me you ain't. And I'm going slow. And man, popped me upside the head because I was moving too slow to open my mouth. And uh, since he hit me, man, I opened up my mouth. You know, but uh, what am I supposed to do? You know, they used to bully in my school. You know, I was more in like in like a, a talent group, you know. So I was mostly like popular. But it, when it was my turn to go fight, I had to. Because everybody, oh, yo, if you don't fight, you're a pussy. So I had to go in the bathroom, got into a fight. And the same kid, they, they call him uh, the beast or whatever the heck they call him. Because he was winning every fight. Uh, he met me. I was crazy. You know, I was doing mixed martial arts, so he got the best best of every world. I'm not a beast, but I, I got my in. That man left out that bathroom with a bruise, bleeding, and I left with no bruise. You know, call all your hot shit out shy. You got brothers that, that show you how to fight a little bit, you know what I'm saying, with bullies, you know, they met the right ones. So my, my life, I don't really have bullies. But when you see that this kid going through it, Yes, we're monsters. You have monsters in many ways. Some of these brothers that's probably gay, baby, they probably wasn't bullies in school. But as soon as they go out in these streets, they bullies. Technically, they bullies. They just got a gun in their motherfucking head. Right? right? That scripture could go, go, go so many ways. I'm just giving you an example of, of Israel going at each other. Right? I, uh, I, I want to use judges uh, 20, chapter 20, verse 30, uh, you can go read this for yourself, this goes into, like, Benjamin, like, before Benjamin, uh, five Benjamites, they were gangbanged, uh, a Levite, uh, concubine, and she, they there was dead in front of, uh, his door, the Levite door, so he cut her up into 12 pieces and delivered her to they there, the 12 tribes individually. And all Israel when it gets uh, Benjamin. So uh, this was just showing Israel against each other. You know, just that that one little moment. But all in history, we were always against each other. And look at us now. Uh, Puerto Ricans, uh, African Americans, Jamaicans. We're, we're always against each other. And that's one, uh, one big curse upon us. Right? This is uh, 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 9 to 10. It says, and he came thither unto a cave and lodged there. And behold, the word of Yahweh Shemashai came to him, and he said unto him, What doest thou here, Elijah? And he said, I have been very jealous for Yahweh Shemashai, God of hosts. For the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant, thrown down thy altar, and slain thy prophets with the sword. And I, even I only, am left, and they seek my life to take it away. Right? They, uh, what they do? They slay prophets. Right? Let alone his people, is Israelites seeking a life. Look at look at Ahab. Right? His wife Jezebel, who's not an Israelite, she killed uh, the both for his land, just for her husband. If Ahab didn't pop his wife or kick, make her kick rocks, 
he was jumped for joy that he got that land. Right? Niggas was cool that they white killed a fellow Israelite. Right? And look, look, I'm standing here right now. It's unacceptable that these men did that to that little boy, man. It's Ephesians chapter 4, verse 31, and it reads, Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice, right? And whoever they parent is, they didn't teach them well, because this that was a bitter act. Some grown-ass teenagers doing that to a 15-year-old, he can't even get a damn job, at least he freaking tried to. He tried to put his brick in, right? Y'all putting wrath upon that damn child, right? Anger, right? And you and you speak in evils, of course, to the mother, but you spoke evil towards that kid. Yo, hey, you never know. What if that, that kid was in the truth? He could be throwing curses at your dumb ass, right? This is a pure example, man. Our, uh, and just like the video I did the other day, this shows that Israel is spoiled, man. Colossians chapter 3, verse 8. But now ye also put off all these things, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Right? They speak of filthy communication. And, and, and they got anger and wrath upon them. I don't know what the, what type of human they, they is. They're monsters. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 to 11. It says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you. Right? It's either these brothers came back and they damn lot. But ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, approved, but ye are justified in the name of Yahweh Shemar Shai by the spirit of our power. Right? Thieves are not going to enter the kingdom of Yahweh Shemar Shai. They were covetous of this man money. They were in the chocolate. Right? Raise your kids right. Right? Shame on whoever is raising these kids, but you know what it is? We're ignorant to the ways of Yahweh Shemar We don't know. But this is why two-thirds have to die. They have to go. Two-thirds are going to die. Zechariah 13 to 8. It's not that I or you can do. But the best thing is to turn and seek Yahweh Shemar With that, we we'll say Shalom Yahweh speak.